Welcome to Sunday School, friends. This week in our story, we hear about a promise that God kept, that God made to Abraham and Sarah, and it seemed like an impossible promise to keep, but God always keeps God's promises. Undignified! <laughs> Welcome to Sunday School. My name is David, and I will have the pleasure of telling the story of Sarah and Abraham. So God made a covenant with Sarah and Abraham. And covenant means promise. And one thing that um, make sure to remember that is that God always keeps his promise. God's promise to Sarah and Abraham is that they would have a son. So um, the Bible verse is Genesis 17, verses 1 through 7, and Genesis 18, verse 1 through 15. So today's story I'm going to read is on page 34 of your Spark Bible. So we got out the Spark Bible, and it's called Abraham and Sarah's Visitors. When Abram was 99 years old, he and his wife, Saraya, were still waiting for God's promise of a huge family to come true. Abram was getting frustrated. He asked God, what are you waiting for? God spoke to Abram, I will keep my promise and I will change your names. Instead of Abram, your name will be Abraham. Instead of Sariah, your wife will be Sarah. Abraham was afraid of what God said. He thought he was too old to become a father of so many people, and his wife was too old to have children. He fell on his face and peeked up with one eye. Could God really make such a thing happen? Later, as Abraham was sitting by the tent, he saw three strangers walking towards him. Abram squinted into the sun and wondered who would be visiting him on such a hot day. Hi, Abraham said when they arrived. You must be tired from traveling. Would you like to sit down, rest, and have some food? Quickly, Abraham asked Sarah to make some bread. He ordered his servant to prepare some meat. Sarah stood hiding in the tent, listening to what the visitors had to say. Who were they? Why had they come to her house? And why were they talking about her? She leaned in a little closer. Your wife, Sarah, We'll have a son, the visitor said to Abraham. Sarah started to laugh. Didn't they know she was too old to have a child? Their visitors looked up. 
why is Sarah laughing, they asked. Doesn't she believe God's promise will happen? God's promise to Abraham did happen. Sarah had a baby boy and named him Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah's family grew and grew and grew, and God blessed each generation with laughter and happiness. So there is Abraham, Sarah, and their baby Isaac. So I also have a video um, for you today, a little bit more about um, Abraham and Sarah and their God's promise to them. God's story, God's promise to Abraham. So part of God's story is about a promise God made to Abraham, and it begins like this. Once there was a guy named Abraham. He had a wife, Sarah. They didn't think they could have any kids, which was a major disappointment because they really wanted a family. But little did Abraham know that God had a very special plan for him. When Abraham was 75 years old, God promised to give him kids, and one day God would send the rescuer through his family. All God asked was that Abraham and Sarah leave their home first and follow him. Now, they had a tough choice to make, leave all their friends and trust God or stay comfortable. This was not easy. See, Abraham really wanted kids, but was already pretty old. Sarah was getting up there too, not to mention she had never been able to get pregnant. So if Abraham and Sarah were going to leave their home and trust in God's promise, they had to believe that God would do something that seemed impossible. The good news is they decided to trust that God would keep his promise. That's always the right choice. So Abraham and Sarah moved from their home to a land called Canaan. Right away, God reminded Abraham of his promise. He said, I will make your children like the dust of the earth. Can specks of dust be counted? If they can, then your children can be counted. This was God's funny way of telling Abraham he would have a lot of kids because nobody can count every piece of dust. Well, this promise seemed great, but after a while, Abraham and Sarah still had no kids, let alone as many as the pieces of dust. Now, they were really old. Sometimes God doesn't remind us of his promises because he wants us to learn to trust him. But God took Abraham outside at night and told him to look at the stars. He reminded Abraham that he would give him that many kids. So Abraham decided to keep believing God. He and Sarah waited again. After more years, he got impatient. This time, God told Abraham, by next year, Sarah will have a son. But by now, Abraham was 99 years old. He and Sarah had both given up on having kids and God's promise. In fact, when Abraham told Sarah what God said, she laughed. It's probably not a good idea to laugh at God's promises, but Sarah was tired of waiting and had stopped trusting. The great thing is, even if we think it's impossible, God really does keep his promises. And just like God promised, Sarah got pregnant the next year after Abraham's 100th birthday. When her son was born, she named him Isaac, which means laughter. Sarah said, God has given laughter to me. Everybody who hears about this will laugh with me. And think about it, a really old lady having a baby is pretty funny. God kept his promise to give Abraham and Sarah a son. Even though they didn't think it was possible, it was easy for God because he can do anything, including giving old people babies. And remember how God was going to give Abraham as many children as the stars in the sky? Well, Isaac grew up and had children who had more children who had more children. This kept going and going and going. And guess who eventually was born in Abraham's line? The rescuer himself, God's son, Jesus. All because Abraham followed God and trusted God to keep his promise. And that's the story of God's promise to Abraham. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Abraham and Sarah were old. God promised to give Abraham kids. Abraham and Sarah waited. They got impatient. God reminded them he keeps his promises. Abraham and Sarah waited more. They got impatient again. God told them Sarah would have a baby. Sarah laughed. She had a baby. Jesus was eventually born into their family. God always keeps his promises. And that's a part of God's story. So again, God's promise to Abraham is that he would have a son and he would have so many descendants that you couldn't even count that many, just as many descendants as there are stars in the sky. So a lot of times I, when I think about covenants and promises of, I hear in the Bible, I kind of think that happened way back when. But God is 
has made a promise to us. And one of those promises that is with us today is God is always with us. And always remember that God always keeps her promises. God also has a plan. God had a plan for Sarah and Abraham. God has a plan for me and God has a plan for you. Remember that you are valuable and you are special. If you could please pray with me now. God, be with us as we struggle to understand your promises and your plan for us. And all God's children said, amen. Thank you very much and have a great week, everyone. Bye. Get ready to dance. Gonna dance, gonna dance, gonna dance before the altar of the Lord. Gonna dance, gonna dance, gonna dance before the altar of the Lord. Won't be afraid of living anymore. No, no, no. Won't be afraid like before. One, two, one, two. Gonna dance, gonna dance, gonna dance before the altar of the Lord. Gonna laugh, ha ha ha, gonna laugh, ha ha ha, gonna laugh before the altar of the Lord. Gonna laugh, ha ha ha, gonna laugh, ha ha ha, gonna laugh before the altar of the Lord. Won't be Gonna dance.